In today's video, I'm going to be going over two high potential keywords for you to get into for Kindle Direct Publishing. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel, I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. As you already saw what I said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about two high potential keywords for you to get into and make books about for your Kindle Direct Publishing business. And I've been doing this for the past two months now and every single month, if you're new here, I make a video just like this one where I go over two to three keywords before you get into that have potential when it comes to demand and uh, competition being low, demand being high, I guess I should say. So if you're interested in this, let's get to it. I don't waste any more of your time. Let's hop on my computer and let's go over these keywords. So in order to find these two keywords, I used a method called reverse keyword research, which I do through a software called Bookbeam, and I use what's called their niche finder. And basically what this does, and I made a video about this a few weeks ago. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll link it somewhere here and you can check it out. But it's basically just a tool that you can search and filter books by their bestsellers, rank, uh, the number of reviews they have, the price, and uh, by categories that you might be interested in. So for this particular example, I made sure that the books that showed up when I did it, the books that it filtered through, were below a average BSR of 50,000. They had less than 100 reviews and their average price was no lower than $9. Um, you can do sales per day, ratings per day, uh, age, whatever you wanna do, but these three right here are usually the ones that I'll do and then I'll choose the categories over here. And the books that I found today were through the health, fitness, and dining category, sports and outdoors, and travel, okay? So there's two keywords that I found by doing this search method, and let's go over them right now, okay? So first one is highway guide. <laughs> and it's definitely a random one. Most of the keywords in these videos, this video series, are pretty random because um, like you never know what you're gonna find when you use this reverse keyword research method. There's tons of possibilities and to be honest with you, even if you think you may have done all the keyword research in the world and you found every single possible keyword and you just can't find anything that's best for you, trust me, you will find new ones. Um, I've been doing this for a long time when it comes to Kindle Direct Publishing and finding keywords and Bookbeam, this reverse keyword research method through their software, still shows me new keywords I have never come across that are definitely high potential and have potential for profits. For example, this highway guide, okay? So when I click Bookbeam, top right here, you're gonna see the average BSR is 300,000. And what you'll see me mention in most of my videos is that we're looking for a BSR, average BSR that's lower than 150K for it to have the right amount of demand. Anything lower than that is even better. But uh, Bookbeam actually had an update recently where you can remove outliers, okay? And an outlier is basically one that just does not fit within the other books BSRs that you're seeing. So if I go down here, you'll see the rankings, 2,000, 17,000, 7,000, and so on. But as we move down, there's a couple that are very high, like this one, for example. So that one just doesn't really fit in with the rest of the crowd. So what I'm gonna do is remove that. And that's gonna drop the average BSR as you saw. There's also one down here that has like a million, so I'm gonna remove that as well, all right? And after I remove those two outliers, like you can even count this one as an outlier, that'll make it even lower, but we'll leave it for now, because it's kind of in the middle. But after I remove those two that are close to a million, you'll see the average BSR jumps down to around 170K, which I know is 20,000 over 150, but we're doing plus or minus 150K or less, and that is pretty good. The next thing you'll look at is the number of competitors and you'll see there's only around 4,000 competitors. So again, not a whole lot of competition here. Low BSR, high demand, not a lot of con competition, which is looking to be a very good keyword. Next thing we're gonna look at is how many reviews these books have, okay? 42, this one has 500, this one has 4,000. But for the most part, most of them are under 500, even 100 for the most part. And uh, that's a very good sign because we can definitely get in there get around 20 to 50 reviews and definitely start competing because there's low competition, has demand. And uh, if you're like someone who likes traveling, this is definitely a good keyword for you because it's just a highway guide. And I noticed most of them are about the USA. So you might want to be from the US if you're gonna make a book about highway guide in the US. But one thing you can do is make a giant series out of this kind of thing and make a bunch of books for each individual state when it comes to traveling and highway guides. So there's definitely a lot, of, uh, a lot of potential for this particular keyword when it comes to making big series, making a bunch of books about it and making a ton of money. The next keyword I found was stretching exercises. 
okay? And this is definitely one that is very popular. And if you're familiar with the kinds of books that I make, I call, I have one kind of book called DIY style books, which are shorter around 10K to 15K words. And then I have long form books, which are 30K, well, 25,000 to 30,000 or more words. The nice thing about this stretching exercises keyword is that you can definitely make DIY style books and compete and make a lot of money. And the best part about DIY books is that they take less time to make. And usually they're a little bit less uh, in the terms of costs to make as well. So stretching exercises, pretty straightforward topic. I'm sure you're aware of what this book is would be about. It's a bunch of stretching, a uh, bunch of stretching exercises. The one thing to consider with this kind of book is that you're gonna need pictures, and for the most part, they're gonna be illustrations. So you're gonna have to hire a writer if you're gonna ghostwrite it, and you're also gonna have to hire an illustrator to make the images for you. But in my opinion, it's definitely still worth it. Let's have a look at the average BSR. It is quite low without even removing any outliers, 83,000. That means there's tons of comp or not competition, tons of demand for this particular keyword. Um, you can even see there's one outlier right here, 500K. So I definitely would remove that and you're all the way down to 54,000. So there's a lot of demand for this keyword. Um, looking at the number of competitors, only 5,000. So that's great. We're looking at 5,000 or less when it comes to competitors. So this one's at the peak but the demand is there. So I would definitely consider this still very high potential keyword. And when it comes to reviews, um, 500 here, under 100, 1,000, under 100, 200, 500, 600, 1,000, 100, 71, 200. So it's a little bit higher, but there's still quite a few books that are ranking on the first page under 100 reviews. So we could definitely make a book about this topic, get in there and rank on the first page and get sales organically on top of our Amazon ads. So you definitely could make a lot of money with this type of book. And again, you could definitely make a DIY style book about this. This would be a hundred different stretching exercises. Each page would be a new stretching exercise. It wouldn't have to be a super long book. Um, maybe put an intro and an outro in there and you'll be good to go. It's not very difficult to make something like that. Shouldn't take too long, get it illustrated. Doesn't need to be color or anything like that. And uh, you'll have a book that could definitely make you a lot of money if you have high quality stretching exercises and can get in here early because it doesn't have a lot of competition right now and there is a lot of demand for this keyword. So it's definitely one to look into over the next month or so. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I wanna make sure it's quick, easy to the point in these videos. I don't wanna drag them on for too long. So we had highway guide there and uh, stretching exercises when it came to the two keywords for April this month. And again, if you wanna try out that book beam reverse keyword research method, the video that I talk about how to do it is linked down below and BookBeam is also linked down below. You can sign up for BookBeam, use the code DANE10, I think it is. It'll be, it'll be a code down there and it'll save you 10% off on a yearly subscription to BookBeam. Super helpful tool and literally if you find one book that makes you money, it pays off the, the cost of the, the, the software anyways. So definitely something I recommend, definitely something that is worth it in my opinion. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Try to post new videos every single week. Um, been doing pretty good this year. I think I've done every single week throughout 2021. So we're gonna try and continue that trend for the rest of 2021. I don't know how, how well that's gonna turn out, but we'll definitely give it a shot. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.